Father, we give you praise, we give you glory this morning. This is the day you have made for us to be blessed. This is the day you have made for us to be great. This is the day you have made for us everything that we shall that shall be blessed. Wherever we shall stand, we shall get in possession. I have a message for you this morning. My message is uh, the God is your provider. The God is your protector. The God is your healer. The God is the answer to anything going in your life. And uh, right now, I'll start by telling you that the God of Jacob, the God of Moses, the God of children of Israel is the same God we save today. Nothing, nothing impossible to him. The Bible said by his name, every knee shall bow. And every time we confess the name of God, is the God who never fail us. Is the God who fought for us day and night. The devil is a liar. The devil will try to convince you or to try to bring up things to show that God will not do it. But God said, I will do it. I will tell you about Jacob. Jacob was going through a hard time in his life. The wife left. The, the children died. He lost everything. He lost all they needed. The blessing, everything that he had. Job lost. But Job did not lose his faith. Job said, you can take everything, but you not take the faith that I have in God. You can take everything, but you not take the grace that I have in God. You can take everything, but you cannot take the friendship that I have in God. Brothers, sisters, you need to know in the time when you feel like they're taking everything from you, in the time when you feel like the devil is trying to convince people to attack you, to convince people to blame you, to convince people to bring things in your life, to bring condemnation, to bring the desire of the world. But God and the Spirit of God tell you, you never leave, you never forsake you. God is said like the way taught to Job, the Spirit of God tell you like the way Job said, you can take everything, you can say everything, you can fight me in everywhere in my life, but I'll never leave my God. I'll never surrender my God. It's how faith and how strong you are. They say Job was sitting down. The devil tell to Job, is he your God listen to you? You see, your God is not answering you. You see, your God is not talking anything. But I say, I believe in the God who talk in the last minute. I believe in the God who come to answer my prayer. I believe in the God who never leave me nor forsake me. Sometimes you may feel like you've been forsaken. You may feel like you've been forgotten. But... You know which God you pray. You need to stand in the same God you believe. In the same God you trust. In who you trust. Yahweh. is a Jehovah Meshekadem, King of Glory, Master Plan. He's a shepherd. And you are his sheep. He's a God who never fell. He's a God who never abandoned. He's a God who never leave his own. So Jacob, he said, I'll pray the same God. Jacob did not give up. And God blessed Jacob. The Bible said, God blessed Jacob a thousand times. He blessed him more, 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 more. Everything was multiplied. His life was blessed. Because jobs stay in the presence of God. When we go, we read about the children of Israel. The children of Israel were with Moses. For thousand time years, for years and years, they've been watching, waiting for deliverance. The Bible said the God was preparing Moses in the wilderness. God was preparing Moses to deliver the children of Israel. I think today, if we we use the same things what the children of Israel went through, you may say maybe the children of Israel were a case. Oh, Rabbi said. You may say maybe the children of Israel could not have that grace. Mm. 
You may say maybe the children of Israel could not stand in the presence of God. You, can, you may say maybe the children of Israel was forgotten, like Job, the devil tell him, your God are forgetting you. Your God is not coming. Your God is not answer. But the message I'm coming with you this morning as you are waking up, the message I'm coming for your life is to tell you, your God never forgets you. Your God never leave you. Sometimes these people around the world, people come with a message to discourage you. We come with a message to tell you that they are better than you. They are better than the way they think. They will come with evil message to try to convince your mind, to convince your faith that your God has forgotten you. But I'm telling you, when people they feel like God forgets you, it's when God is trying to lift you up. When the devil is trying to come with all kind of, of fights. But God is saying, I'm there, your God. Leave them do what they're doing. Leave them say what they're saying. Leave them fight what they're fighting. I'm your God, God who created the heaven and the earth. My message today to tell you, stand and walk up. Like the way Jesus told the Lazar, move from the grave and come out of your suffering. Come out of your trouble. Come out of anything that you see negative in your life. Mm. Don't stay there and think of God are forgetting. Don't stay there and let the devil convince you with evil message, with evil conviction to say you are nothing, to say you are desperate. When God is working in your life, when God is transferring some divine spirit, some divine fight, you may maybe try even your car is not working, your computer is not working, your, the devil is smart, he knows how he can play with you. But you believe in God who created the heaven and the earth. You believe in Yahweh. You believe in God who brings life. The God of resurrection of life. With the Holy Spirit and His Son, Jesus Christ. You never put your, your, your feet down on where God has not designed you to stand. God will make a way for you. The Bible said... God will make a way will never be no way. He's the maker of every way in life. He's the designer, designer of every way. So we don't know, we don't have to give up. We have to look to God. Like the way the children of Israel stand with Moses and they walk with Moses through water. Remember nice. They were thinking at your God is it there, Moses? Your God will you answer us? Your God will you talk to us? Your God will you oh Sometimes we feel in that some situation we say, Is it this God we do it? But listen, I'm telling you right now, your God is there. The God of Moses, the God of Abraham. The God of uh, 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 Jacob is there. He's sure life. You don't have even to give up even a second of your life. You don't have even, 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 even you see things are not working. Even you receive those kind of things or notice. But listen, Job did not give up. Moses did not give up the, the children of Israel. God accomplished his mission. What God said, he would do it. What God promised, he would do it. He never fell. It's not a failure. It's not a failure. A man fell. A man ran away. But our God never fell. Our God never gave up. Our God never surrendered. He started the battle and he, he, he finished the battle and he became a champion. Oh, Rabase. Mm, mm. Oh, he's a God who never, never leave his children. He's a God who never say no to anything that he thinks is for his glory. Is Yahweh. You may ask yourself, you say, God, I've been praying. But I tell you, he's coming. 
Your time is coming. Your time is coming. You don't have to give up. The children of Israel, they waited for Moses. And remember, it was a long journey. But remember, all your enemy, all the plan of evil, all the plan of darkness, we go down when God stands. God did not just deliver the children of Israel from Egypt, but he even show his glory when they attack him. Because remember, when God deliver you from somewhere, there will be existence that want to bring you back. There was people who tried to fight you and say, do you not go anywhere, you know, do anything. Those are those soldiers where Pharaoh sent the soldier to fight the, 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 the children of Israel. The soldier, they comes and they say, we shall put you down now. You are not going anywhere. That's why Pharaoh was saying, Pharaoh was, was <coughs> amen, amen. Pharaoh was saying, I'll put you down now. You guys, you not go nowhere. My soldier coming and bring you down. But the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, he looked at him, he said, <laughs> you know, sometimes in life, when you reach the point where the victory is the other side, the devil will look with the eyes of the world and he say, he's finished. Pharaoh, he said with his soldiers, he say, he finished. When they reach there, they will see the Red Sea and they will not know where to go. Oh, Rebecca, the men have also always a limited. You limit you. You limit you. You say, what can he do? What can he say with his struggle? with his life with his abandon his, his rejection with his trouble with what is going on in his life but God he said what I open the water <laughs> I open the water the children of Israel was waiting they look at Moses they say Moses look where you brought us now we are dying we are losing but listen your situation that people think impossible. Your situation that think people think will never change. Your situation that people think that it's finished. But God is opening the sea. Oh! God is opening the sea for you. God will do you a favor. Hey! Hey! The God of Abraham, the God of Moses, will do you favor. The favor will come from nowhere. Listen, the same prayer you pray for your deliverance, the same prayer you pray when you're in trouble, continue praying because God used the same stick that turned to the snake. It's the same stick God used on the water to separate the Red Sea. Oh, hallelujah! Hey, come on. God will use your same voice. God will use you for His glory. For His glory. Mm, mm, praise him, praise him, praise him. Coming you to tell you right now. Continue praying. Continue fasting. Continue seek the kingdom of God. The rest shall come and shall follow you. Because it's a God who never leave you or forsake you. It's a God of vengeance. Let the Israelites stand with God. And they see the glory of God. Let the Egyptian say what they say. Fight the way they fight you. But the vengeance is coming from God. When God opened the sea, it was not just the children of Israel to pass through, but it was also the sea of condemnation, the sea of death. When it was the sea for blessing, listen, your blessing. It might be a curse to other people. Oh, Rebbe, God will take you from a situation where everybody was not thinking you could come out of that situation. God will take you from that deliverance where it will be a curse to other people who were attacking you physically, spiritually. It will be a curse to them. Oh, Rebbe, she can't, Rebbe, Kosaya. Sometimes we have to curse, we have to curse to bring down every spirit of darkness, every spirit of curse, every spirit talk bad about you, about us, but you seek the kingdom of God because those were like children of 
Israel was crossing the river. But listen, the Israelites, no, the children of Israel, oh, Rebecca, the Egyptian could talk the way they want to talk. They could attack with Pharaoh. They say it finished. Mm. But where it was not yet finished. They say it's done. 